Good morning and welcome back to the Quail Guy channel. So our friends, Kaz and Alex, over at A Day on the Plot, links in the description, have pulled a load of raspberries this year and they've made the best jam. Would you like some of the jam on your toast? Um, yes. Yeah? Is it delicious? Yeah. I love the raspberry one. You love the raspberry one? Yeah. Yeah, they also made us damson jam, which is, is my favourite, but Harper loves the raspberry jam. And yeah, it just makes me so happy that this is from friends making jam out of their own fruit. It's so cool! <laughs> Go on then, mate. Good morning, ducks. Good morning. It is a beautiful day today. Bad morning this morning. Uh, come out to a massacre. My original quail, which live outside. There was only four left of them. Um, one male, three female. They had been had by what seems to have been a rat. Now I have a mesh floor on that cage, and it's it's heightened off the floor mesh. Floor, so all their droppings fall through and uh, I thought they were protected enough I've had an issue before in the past with this, the same sort of setup I thought I'd blocked it all off I had not done a good enough job I'm afraid and a rat got in and well yeah he got a free meal out of us last night I'm upset because the originals were a big deal because they were the first quail I ever had and well now they've like springboarded a little business for us and our family so sad day. I also come out here this morning and a few of Lee's little terrors were in a really bad shape. Seven of them were laid out, hardly moving, panting, and what had happened is there was a second light here and it blew on me last night. So they were down to one light. So that's 50 quail trying to get under that light and thankfully I have, I hand watered them by dipping their beak and scooping their little tiny underbeak into the water and sitting them upright and I did that a few times each to every single one of them and I thought I was going to lose them um, that's what usually happens with baby quail, they're very fragile um, not as fragile as other birds but they're still still baby chicks and I haven't got the best brood or the best setup for them uh, but by doing that with the water and sticking them back under a heat plate that I had um, to get a bit of heat. They've all sprung up and they're all running back round, so learned something new today that it's, they can be saved. So last night, I was out here doing a little bit of gardening and I noticed that my cucumbers weren't cucumbers. <laughs> However ridiculous that sounds. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know whether it's a flower head or a fruit. So I'm gonna go look through my seed packs and see if I can tell what it is. But it's looking crazy. Okay, so this is my uh, seed box. It is crazy. There is seeds all over the bottom of this that have just fallen out over the time. I might do a massive garden bed and just spread them and see what happens one day. I'm trying to find out what what's growing out there, Bubs. Um. We've definitely got these ones. Yeah. But we haven't got those. No, they didn't come up this year, did they? I'm wondering if there are any of the pumpkins that I got. I don't think so. I wonder. Is it this? Is it this? no? They're beans. 
No, no, no. I wonder if it's a butternut squash because it's a similar, similar shape. Well, not really. Daddy, can you move the stitcher around? Yeah, of course. You want to come see? Can you hear Oh, that? I've got cornflowers. These will be great for Alex over at um, A Day on the Plot. He's trying to do a old English cottage style garden in his garden. So, Alex, these are yours if you want to make them. You want to grow some pumpkins? Yeah. We're going to have to do that next year because we've missed the season, okay? So next year we'll plant pumpkins so we can grow them for next year's Halloween. Yay! Yay! Does that sound fun? Yeah. Yeah? Then we can do some pumpkin carving next year with our own pumpkins. How about trick or treating? We can do some trick or treating as well next year if you like. What do you want to dress, dress up as this year? Um, a pumpkin. A pumpkin. That's a great idea. How about a witch? A witch? I love witches. You love witches? Uh-huh. That's cool. Um, I can't find anything in my seed box that would tell me what they are. I thought I'd, da, 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 I thought da, da, I'd uh, sown market da, 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 cucumbers, da, 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 patty pans, da, 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 um, and a few different da, 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 squashes. Da, 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 da. And that was it. But they might just be ginormous flowers that are going to come and open up. But we'll wait and see. Big learning curve. Big learning curve. Alright. This has been a long segment for no reason. <laughs> okay, so um, we actually got 54 quails hatch the other day. And, uh, and there's still three in here that needed uh, to fluff up to dry out, to fluff up, and be ready to be moved. And I've turned the incubator off now. They're ready to go down and join the others. Yeah, the incubator needs cleaning out, ready for the chicken eggs to go in. Okay, forget everything I just said. This dude just hatched. I don't even know what day it is today. Is it day 19? That's crazy. I don't know how well this little one's gonna do, but it's just hatched as we opened it up. That's crazy, and I think this one is, there's one in here as well. Why are you so late? It's hatching. That's crazy. It's hatching. Daddy, that one is hatching. I know, that's crazy. Right, so we've got to close the incubator. We've got to get these three out, because they need to get out now. So we've got to close the incubator and get these little ones out, and let these little ones fluff up and hatch. These are the latest, we've had really, uh, we had really early ones and really late ones in this hatch. I just stroked it there. <laughs> Okay, let's get these ones out. Uh, well, are you going to carry them down to the hutch for me? Yeah. Let's go. This adorable daddy. Yeah, just be careful, don't drop them. Oh, hello daddy. You guys are cute. Do you like it? Do you like it? Put them in there. One by one. You got it? That's it. Mm. That's it. Oh, it's so fun. That's so much fun. That's it. Last one. That's it. Fantastic. That one is walking for me. <laughs> They'll be alright. Thanks for helping, Bob. Come on then, Bill. Let's go check on them little chickies before we go to bed. We've got an issue right now. Bruce doesn't go up into bed. I'm having to get him up every night. Come on, Bruce. <laughs> Come on. Good night. And the ducks think it's funny to sit in this corner and not move. So I've got to tempt them out. Come on. That's it. Off you go. Good night, peeps. How are you all doing? Very messy. They're doing very well. Um, the one with the splayed legs died earlier today, which is a shame. So before we go, just wanted to update you on the 
the last few eggs that were in the incubator. We had that one hatch this afternoon and it didn't make it I'm afraid. We gave it a fighting chance but it was just too late. My theory is that it tried to, it was, it's been trying to hatch since day 17 and it was just a weak chick and it just didn't have the energy to survive in the first place. There was another one that was trying to break out. I actually intervened and helped it out and you should never really do that and if it was earlier and it was around day 17, 18, I wouldn't have touched it. I would have let it do its own thing but because it was so late and I know I was going to turn off the incubator anyway, I gave it a fighting chance and let it come out and it, again it just it just didn't survive so a few ups and downs today um, we had that crazy morning with the original quail I'm still upset about that um, but you live and learn homestead lifestyle is you learn on the job and I learned a big lesson today and I don't think I'll be putting quail outside for a little while until um, the rodent problem around our house is fixed. Uh, the cat should be doing a better job and hopefully the two new kittens will grow up and then we've got four cats basically um, patrolling this area and hopefully we see no more rodent activity. Thanks for joining us on this channel, thank you to all the new subscribers. If you are new to watching, please subscribe and comment. Thanks again and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.